All right, we're pulling out this evaporator here in this Nordine Frigidaire unit. It's a heat pump. You can see the, the oil stains right there compared to that over there. Travis is going to finish pulling it out and then we are going to slide a new one in. All right, now we got the evaporator in the light. You can see how oily it is right there compared to the rest of it. And the H10 went crazy right here the other day. And it's a little dirty in there too. But he's got a dug board return and dug board supply. He's got some air leaks that we're gonna fix too, so. All right. Here is our new much better looking Nordine coil. As Zach would say, fresh off the boat from China, but this one is fresh off the boat from Mexico. And I was surprised to see this here. It is made for refrigerant R22 or R410A. So that's pretty cool. But we are actually going to run R422D. We're using, I'm, I'm using my, uh, I'm using a retrofit for R22 for the first time. Uh, this is a 70 something year old man that, you know, you know, I mean, he's got a little bit of money, but he, he doesn't want to spend all his money on his air conditioning. He just wanted to get a new evaporator put in so he could have his heat and air because this is a heat pump. And uh, he just, you know, he wanted to do it for as, as little money as possible, which I can understand that. You know, the man's 70-something years old, and uh, so I want to treat him right. I always swore I would never use a retrofit refrigerant, but uh, I've seen Zach use it a couple times. It looks like he's had good luck with it. And... Uh, 422d came highly recommended and it's really at a good price so we're gonna try it out got our new coil in sanding down the copper we're gonna braise it up and go start the vacuum process There's a glare, but we got about 163 pounds of nitrogen on the system. Travis is going to go up there and uh, make sure he doesn't hear anything. And I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, the tightness test here on the Testo. One thing I really like about the Testo is this uh, this feature right here. So we'll let the time clock run. As long as Travis doesn't hear anything. Uh, then we'll let it hold for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll start the vacuum process. We gotta say, Frigidaire. Good old Nordine. All right, looks like it's holding pretty steady. So uh, we'll let that sit for a few more minutes and then we'll start the vacuum. All right, guys, we got the vacuum going now. Um, you know, normally I would have just pumped the condenser down 
and change the evaporator, cut the gas, pump the vacuum, cut the gas loose, and then add it to it. But since there was hardly any refrigerant left in this unit, there was hardly any at all. So we recovered what was left. So when you have to pump a vacuum on a, you know, when you're pumping the condenser, the line set, and the evaporator, that could take a while. So I'm using the big dogs, the Appions, the half inch hoses. I haven't used these in a really long time. Normally I use these right here. These are Yellow Jacket 3 8 hoses, and they work just fine when you're doing a line set and a uh, coil, like if you're doing a new system or something. But when, when you make a repair like this and you're having to pump the condensing unit, the line set, and the coil, those tend to uh, take a while. So I'm going to see what my speed time is like with these, uh, with the big Appions. Maybe that'll speed things up. Which, of course, I know, you know, there's other things that I have to do. I got to go, I still got to go up there and run the drain and all that, but still, you know, I'd still like the vacuum to go a little faster, so I figured I'd give these a try. I haven't used them in a while. So I'm going to go up in the attic and tie the drain in and uh, put the doors back on the unit, and he's got some, he, like I said, he's got duck board, duck work. Uh, he's got a duck board return plenum and a duck board supply plenum. So we're going to go, he's got a few air leaks. We're going to go tape up and pookie real good because, you know, that's all the man wants to do. Uh, just just kind of wants to, you know, get this thing running good enough to where he can have eaten air. So that's what we're going to do for him. All right, we're going to weigh in 10 pounds here. I don't know if we'll be able to get all 10 pounds in without cranking the unit because of the cool weather out here. Of our Honeywell 422D. Uh, and you see the Testo has that setting, 422D. Uh, I was told that this is a really good retrofit for 22. And like I said, we're trying to save costs on this job, so that's why we're using 422D. Uh, I used it on my nephew's house. I had to redo some stuff on his air conditioning, and it seemed to work good. So, we are going to give it a shot on this system. All right, I was able to get all 10 pounds in without starting the system up. The thermostat is in time delay, so we are just waiting on the system to fire. All right, guys, our system is operational. Seems to be performing very well. Uh, we've got pressures, 47 on suction, 276 on the head. Um, there's no heat charging chart on this unit, but you know, from experience, I, I'd say that's pretty good. But uh, I've already told him, you know, that I want to come back during the summer and recheck the charge during the, uh, you know, in the air conditioning mode. It's just too cold to do it today. And uh, but I mean, that that looks pretty dang good right there. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. And I made my little label here in case he does hire somebody else but also to remind myself that it's 422D, do not use R22. So, I'm, I'm happy with that. Seems to be performing very well. So, uh, I've been doing a lot of change outs lately, but to be honest with you, it's kind of nice to repair one and, and keep one running. I like doing that too. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like doing change outs, but this is a uh, 15 year old system, I think. Yeah, 15 years old. And uh, I like to keep those alive too. So uh, that's, that's another part of my job I enjoy is taking a 15 year old system like this and keeping it running for a few more years. All right guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.